Foreman Dan is checking in on House 3's new attic space. Put a few roof sheets in a minute, get some insole in and seal her up. Before we do anything, we're going to have to inspect all the frames, subfloor, all the connections. See, so, old uh, Keith checked it all yesterday, so, yeah, all good, mate. All right. Have a look at it, go for it. Beautiful. Don't expect there to be any issues. Keith checked it yesterday, so hopefully we're all good, Seal. Too easy, mate. We haven't done anything different yesterday, but put a few battens up and... Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks, Thanks Dan. Mate. Thanks, Mike. Daniel. Howdy, Dan. How you going? Good, mate. Now, just um, with yesterday, upstairs, um, run me through exactly what happened with... Uh, I, I wasn't here. I was on a challenge yesterday. So did Keith do an inspection or...? Yeah, so Keith was up there three or four times looking at it all day. That's yeah. what I got informed with last night when I got home. So I, I've just gotten off the phone to Keith. Yep. He said he was up there overseeing, but he's yep. never done a formal inspection okay. whatsoever. Rightio. Um, that, that concerns me because I feel like I've been lied to. Yeah. Like, this is a mutual respect. Yeah, li li lied to from who, Dan? Well, you just said Keith ticked it off. No, I didn't say Keith ticked it off. He I said, said Keith's, Keith's been up there all day yesterday. No, the exact words were, Keith has inspected this already. So, yeah, like, tr it's a well, two-way trust. Yeah, oh, well, then, mate, there's no issue with trust with me, with you, and if you feel I've lied to you, well, mate, that's bull <laughs> absolute bull <laughs> Don't come into my house and tell me we're trying to hide things and stuff like that. It's all in there for everyone to have a look at. It's it's no point shaking your head, mate. Like that's that's how it is. Yeah, that's fine. But you like, just called this... me a liar, mate. Well, Ke Ke I was away on a challenge all day yesterday. I got told yesterday that Keith was up there three or four times. Yeah. And checking it over. But as for checking it off, I don't know what a check off is. If that's what you've got to do, or whether that's what he's got to do. Communication on your end, I must be wrong. Yeah, he said that I'd broken his trust and all the other bullshit that he had, and I wasn't putting up with that. It was just that's crap. There's no way that I've been trying to lie to you with it. So you can go and check whatever you want up there, because everything's been done to those plans. Well, I'm getting the engineer to come out. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Yeah, Sounds that's good. That's happening after one. See you after lunch. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Bull <laughs> mate. Call me a lie. <laughs> I just didn't appreciate the way Dan went about it. He wanted us to cease tools immediately to get Dougie back out to have a look at it. Daniel, got Doug the engineer now, mate. Good day, Dan. How you going? Yeah, good, mate. Doug's sign-off is crucial the South Aussies have any chance of revealing their attic space to the judges on Sunday. On the way up, the thing that disturbed me is I saw that you put the, the beams above the joists. Yeah. We're only getting half the nails into the, the supporting member. OK. It's going to work OK if we support it on the joist side of it, but on the beam side of it, we've only got two or three nails either so there side. There should be four per bracket. So we're a bit light on. Yeah. We had four nails per bracket. Dougie didn't think it'd be enough. That's why I draw them up like that is so that you set them in, so that you can actually get the brackets on properly. But, uh, yeah, I've never never seen it done the way you've tried to do it. Oversight on my behalf, just, you know, you're moving so quick, you've you just, yeah, just lost a bit of the detail. 